So Sahaja Yoga means spontaneous union with the Divine. Saha is with, Ja is born. That is spontaneous, born with you. Everybody has a right to get this union with the Divine. The another meaning of the word Divine is that the power of God that is all-pervading, which does all the living work like transformation of flower into fruit, different seasons, all that is living is done by this power. And this divine, you have to become one. You have to feel it on your fingertips. This yoga also means the deafness, means also the complete knowledge about this divine power, how to handle it, how to work it out, and how to use it. By awakening of this Kundalini as a byproduct, you get your physical health. I've said many a times that cancer cannot be cured by anything else but by the Kundalini awakening. Yesterday I explained to you how cancer is caused and how Kundalini clears it out. Most of your diseases come because the centers are out of gear, they have broken their relationship with the whole, or maybe that there's something uh, lacking in the centers. When the Kundalini rises, she only nourishes them so well that with that nourishment, all these centers, your mental, physical, emotional centers get completely satisfied and fulfilled and they become healthy. With that, you get good health, good mind and good balanced emotional life. But last of all, when she crosses this limit, this is, the, this is the place where besides the God Almighty. Now I'm saying again that you are not to believe me because people don't believe in God also these days. So I say that this is the place of God Almighty on top of your head, but he's reflected in your heart as spirit. And as soon as the Kundalini touches that seat, the hands start flowing with cool breeze in the hand. First you feel the cool breeze of your own Kundalini coming up and then the grace starts flowing through you and you feel the grace in your hand as cool breeze flowing. So it happens. Once it happens, you have to establish yourself a little bit, you have to understand it, what it is and how to keep it established. It takes at the most for some people only one day but some people a month or so. And then you become the master. You become a different personality, you become so powerful and so compassionate, very compassionate and very powerful like Christ, you see. When people were trying to throw stones at Mari Magdalini, she was a prostitute and he stood against her. He had nothing to do with prostitutes as such, but he stood against all the people and he said, now those who have not committed any sin can throw the stones at me and nobody would do it because he's such a powerful, compassionate person. And that's what it is, you, you become a person identified with truth. You are not afraid of anyone, you always tell the truth and we tell with great power. Like you had a great uh, poet like William Blake who has said about these modern times that at this time the men of God means the people who are seeking God or who are uh, believing God will become prophets and they'll have power to make others profit. This is exactly what Sir Yoga does, that you get your realization and you start giving realization to another. Like an enlightened light can enlighten another light which is not enlightened, and then that enlightened light can enlighten many other lights. It's simple as that. There's nothing to take or give, it's just a catalyst that you enlighten another light and that person enlightens another light. So there is no obligation, there's nothing give and take, but it's just a simple happening that you can understand this Dr. Warren himself has given realization to thousands of people, even in Madras I could not go, I sent him and he gave realization to 300 people. Like in India we have somebody who has given realization to 10,000 people, it's a fact and you can verify it. When you yourself get your realization, be surprised that you can give realization to people and you can cure them, you can give them peace and bliss of God. Then at that time, you become collectively conscious. 
You become part and parcel of the whole. Like many people had the catch yesterday on the Vishuddhi chakra because of certain reasons, some trouble, some had spondylitis, some had something. And they couldn't cross this thing. Only they had to say three times, Mother, I am the part and parcel of the whole. And they started feeling the cool breeze. It's so simple as that. And they started feeling the cool breeze because they were obstructed here. So it's very simple methods which even a child can do, which you can do is there. And I hope today in this place which is so beautiful, Bath, we will all receive this realization. May God bless you all.